Mm, I lost my sight when I was four. I couldn't remember anything. My parents told me that uh, it was due to uh, an incurable uh, fever. This fever was was really like it was really incurable. So uh, it affected my right eye first, and then left eye. And doctors were afraid that uh, the fever will spread into my body. So they had to amputate my eyes in order not to uh, to suffer more, and this is how it goes. Uh, they they did it, and uh, um, they I mean the doctors told my parents that still losing losing sight is better than losing life or losing losing uh, other types of uh, other part of my body. So yeah, alhamdulillah, this was uh, it was uh, what what my God uh, wanted me to be. My name is Youssef Mohammed. I'm I am originally from Lebanon. I came here to Canada in 2013 to study masters in conference interpretation at York University. Now um, I graduated from York last year with a masters, and now I've got a job uh, as a translator and interpreter at the International Civil Aviation Organization in Montreal. So challenges, problems uh, with uh, with my lost sight were mainly out of school, because you know uh, at school uh, we were all uh, in the same case. But out of school in the neighborhood, maybe because not all people understand that a blind um, that a blind kid doesn't play the same games that uh, sighted people play. So. I suffered some teasing from other people, but from other kids. So during my all um, bad circumstances and difficult times, uh, people from National Zakat Foundation um, have been with me, have been supporting me. Aside from their financial assistance that they, they gave to me in order to, to pay my rent and to pay other expenses, Psychologically and mentally, they were very supportive. They were very helpful. Um, I still remember when they visited me before I I got my job to I, I before I went to Montreal and they we spent the day together. That really meant to me. Everybody at an, at a point in in their life would need help, and there are always people willing to help. You need just to to look for these people, but they are always there. My dad passed away um, end of 2015. He had a um, thalassemia, and his health uh, deteriorated um, over age. My mom is is working, is still working as well. Actually, one of the main reasons I came all the way to take this trip and to to uh, study and then graduate and work is to um, to let my mom. Um, uh, rest and stop working and I, I uh, help her. My life in Lebanon was uh, I mean not terribly bad but I didn't have this independence feeling. I was not feeling independent. I couldn't do the things that I want to do on my own. That's why I sought a better life where I can be more independent and work and where I can rely just on myself and on my skills. Now um, I've got a better job and I, I'm really indebted to, to NZF to help me pay the rent. Otherwise, maybe I would have been ending up in, in a shelter or going back home. So yeah, I would like to thank everybody for supporting me, but especially NZF because they believed in me and they knew that from day one that uh, their assistance wouldn't be spilled, wouldn't go in the in the wrong place. That's why they, they help me uh, all the time. So thank you for the interview and um, thank you for the assistance as well. Mm.